on what factors the rate of a reaction depends. So, I am back here with some of the experiments which tells us that how rate of a reaction is dependent on some of the factors. So, first of all, what I have is, I have vinegar in two separate beakers and I have baking soda with me, which I am going to put in these two beakers, which are present in different concentrations. So, the first one which I am having, I have taken one tablespoon baking soda and in the other one, I have taken two tablespoon baking soda. And I am going to put these two concentrations or these two reactants in the beaker. So let's see. You can see here that the beaker in which more quantity of baking soda was present, the rate of reaction was faster as compared to this one. That means the rate of reaction increases with concentration of reactants. Now, moving towards our second factor, that is effect of temperature. So here, I'm having two beakers in which there is hot water and normal tap water. So now we are going to see the effect of temperature on rate of reaction. So I'm having vitamin C tablets and I'm going to put them in hot water and normal water. So after some time you will see that the tablet in hot water, it will dissolve much more faster as compared to the tablet in normal water. Now, coming to the third factor, that is surface area of reactants. So, here again I'm having two beakers filled with normal water and I'm having a vitamin C tablet and a powdered vitamin C. So, I'm going to put this in the beaker. So, after some time you will see the one which is having powdered vitamin C tablet, it is completely dissolved as compared to the full tablet. That means with increase in surface area of reactants, rate of reaction increases. Now, moving towards another category of reaction that is photochemical reaction. And the best example to explain it is photosynthesis. You can see here that a plant is there. And for the process of photosynthesis, one important thing is needed and that is sunlight. Now, as the intensity of light increases, the rate of photosynthesis increases. So this is how the radiation affects the rate of reaction. Now, moving towards the last but the most important factor that is a catalyst. So for this, I have an experiment. You can see here that in this flask, I'm having hydrogen peroxide. Can you see it is decomposing? No. Since it decomposes to form water and releases oxygen gas, which is an odorless gas, so we cannot recognize it that oxygen is being released. But to see how oxygen is released and hydrogen peroxide is decomposed, we can add a small amount of manganese dioxide in it. So, I'm going to add a very small amount of manganese dioxide. So, you can see here the fumes which are released from the conical flask and that is of oxygen. So, this is how hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form H2O and O2. So, these were all the factors starting with the concentration of reactants, temperature, surface area, effect of radiations and catalyst which affect the rate of reaction. As soon as I added manganese dioxide in it, the rate of reaction increased. 
that means a catalyst helps to achieve the rate of reaction faster so these were all the factors which are responsible for the rate of a reaction but gulberg and wage they found the effect of concentration of reactants on the rate of a reaction and gave a law which is known as law of mass action now let's see it mathematically now suppose you have a reaction aa plus bb gives cc plus dd so according to law of mass action rate of reaction is proportional to the product of concentration of reactants raised to the power their stoichiometric coefficients so for this reaction we can write rate of reaction is proportional to a to the power a into b to the power b and to remove the proportionality sign we introduce a constant k that is known as rate constant so we have rate is equals to k a to the power a b to the power b when concentration of reactants is unity then it is known as specific rate reaction here i am going to introduce a new term which is known as order of reaction so in the rate law the sum of the exponents of reactants is known as order of reaction now for this reaction we have a plus b so that a plus b denotes the order of reaction order of reaction can be 0 1 2 3 and so on and we name it accordingly also like if a reaction is having order 0 then it is known as a zero order reaction if its order is 1 it is known as first order reaction and so on now when we write the unit of rate constant there is one shortcut that, that is 1 by moles per liter to the power n minus 1 into time inverse where n denotes order of reaction guys remember one thing order of reaction is totally an experimentally calculated value its value can be 0 1 2 3 or it can be fractional also and it can be more than 